For years, the world believed Russia's most advanced shield was the S-500. But recently, whispers from inside Moscow's defense labs suggest something far more powerful is emerging. An evolution so drastic that some analysts are calling it the leap from the S-500 to the S-700. Imagine an air defense system that combines Russia's long-range missile expertise with fully autonomous AI control. A system that can track incoming threats faster than any human and intercept missiles at altitudes previously considered unreachable. If this transformation is real, then the S-700 could reshape global military balance in ways no one is prepared for. The S-500 itself is already one of the most advanced air defense systems in the world. Designed to engage ballistic missiles, stealth aircraft, hypersonic threats, and even low-orbit satellites, it expanded Russia's defensive umbrella far beyond what the S-400 could achieve. Its radar architecture allows it to detect high, speed objects from multiple angles, while its interceptors can target threats traveling at over Mach 10. But inside Russia's military, industrial complex, engineers were not satisfied. They believed the modern battlefield needed a system that could react in fractions of a second, process a flood of data instantly, and coordinate interceptions with machine-level precision. This belief became the seed of the S-700 concept. The transformation from the S-500 to the S-700 is said to begin with modifications to the radars. Traditional phased array radars, even advanced ones, have limitations in tracking swarm drones, hypersonic glide vehicles, and stealth aircraft flying at unpredictable trajectories. The newer AI-driven radar modules reportedly use machine learning models trained on simulated threat data, millions of flight paths, evasive maneuvers, and missile signatures. Instead of human operators analyzing radar screens, the upgraded system predicts enemy movement patterns in real time, narrowing interception windows and directing missiles with near perfect timing. Much of this work is happening deep inside Russia's closed military industries. Facilities already known for producing the S-500 hypersonic warheads and advanced EW systems. Engineers are experimenting with new composite materials to reduce weight while increasing heat resistance for interceptors that may need to travel faster than anything the S-500 currently fires. Rumors even suggest next-generation propulsion systems, possibly dual-stage boosters, that can push interceptors to altitudes where early warning satellites orbit. If true, this would move Russia into a new category of space denial capability. The heart of the S-700 modification concept, however, is AI. Instead of a traditional command post filled with dozens of operators coordinating radars, launchers, and tracking systems, the S-700 is believed to rely on autonomous decision engines. These AI modules filter out false targets, identify real threats instantly, and compute interception trajectories faster than the human brain can process visual information. In a real-world scenario, stealth bomber approaching, hypersonic missile detected, drone swarm closing in, the AI could manage multiple layers of defense without waiting for human commands. This doesn't remove human control entirely, but it transforms the human role from operator to supervisor, drastically reducing reaction time. Power is another major change. The S-700's theoretical interceptors would require enormous launch energy. Russian engineers are rumored to be testing hybrid propulsion systems capable of sustaining longer burn times without compromising maneuverability. This could allow the S-700 to engage threats at previously impossible speeds, altitudes, and distances. Combined with AI prediction models, the system becomes both faster and more accurate, capable of intercepting advanced hypersonic glide vehicles, which rely on unpredictable maneuvering. Secrecy surrounds the manufacturing locations involved in this program. Satellite images have shown expanded activity at several Russian missile production sites, including new structures believed to house research into advanced radar modules and AI data centers. These facilities use heavily encrypted networks to process simulation data, and many of the researchers involved come from Russia's top AI and aerospace academies. This collaboration between missile engineering and artificial intelligence marks a new phase in Russia's defense development strategy, one that prioritizes automation, real-time adaptation, and multi-domain interception. If the S-700 becomes operational, it could create an air defense bubble far more impenetrable than anything seen before. Not just against jets or drones, but potentially against hypersonic missiles and near space assets. Such a system would give Russia the ability to secure its airspace from virtually any conventional threat and possibly even challenge low orbit satellite networks during conflict. The S-500 was already feared for its anti-satellite capabilities, but the S-700 could take that capability from theoretical to practical. 
The evolution from S500 to S700 represents more than a simple upgrade. It signals Russia's intention to rely on AI as a core pillar of its defense doctrine, a system that can think, predict, and react faster than any human. Staffed Command Center could redefine modern warfare. And if other nations fall behind in AI-powered air defense, the balance of global military power may shift sharply. Whether the S-700 is a near-future reality or a concept still in shadow, one thing is clear. The race to merge AI with next-generation air defense has already begun. Russia appears determined to stay ahead. Share your thoughts below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us next time as we explore more of the world's most advanced military technologies.